Of Auckland, Kipling said, last, loneliest, loveliest, exquisite, apart. The once capital of New Zealand, Auckland is now a centre for trade and manufacturing. But there are few parts of the city that are not within reach of beautiful gardens. And almost in the very centre of the city are displays of flowers such as these. There are fine public buildings, and the museum and art gallery have a magnificent collection of the finely made delicate art of the Māori. By direct flying boat to America and Australia, Auckland's harbour shelters many types of craft. The acknowledged centre for yachting in New Zealand, Auckland is ideal for racing or for leisurely cruises. Yachtsmen find endless variety in the dozens of bays and sheltered waters outside the harbour. Auckland is said to shelter more yachts than any other port in the world. large port and naval base, it has been long important in shipping circles, and ships have been built here since the days of the four-masted barks. During the war, many naval vessels were constructed for the Allies in Auckland's modern shipyard. The main city area rises in a gentle slope from the harbour, and the centre of its activity is Queen Street, with its ever-busy crowds. Rug-making, one of the most colourful of Auckland's industries, has made New Zealand rugs famous in America and other countries. New Zealand's great primary product, wool, is dyed and woven into floor coverings of high quality and pleasing colours. Even 40-hour week was designed to give time for recreation. In a climate such as Auckland, swimming is a popular pastime, and the many public baths are usually lively places.
with ample space to roam on Kawa Island. Planted with trees and flowers from various parts of the world, Kawao Island is a world garden where can be found the exotic colour of the tropics beside the brilliant green of New Zealand forests. The wild rose of England grows beside the brilliant waratah of Australia and its fellow countrymen, the flaming red gum. The mainland, seen in the distance, reminds us of the cities, and we return to Auckland on the harbour called Waitemata, the sea of sparkling waters. Mm -hmm. 